Hey there, it's Nathalie and uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, what I'm going to show you in the video today is how I made this Pashad box. Um, DIY, this is for paint, painting outside. I'm a watercolorist and so uh, I've got my watercolor palette. I've used this little box from Walmart. Anyway, I'll show you all about how I made this. Uh, and so you might decide that you want to make one of these too. Maybe just inspire you just a little bit. So don't go away. At Christmas at Walmart, I bought this art set. And I gave the art supplies to my granddaughter. And uh, so I thought I would make a, my own little do-it-yourself pochade box. Pochade box. Anyway, so this is particle board, uh, pressed fiber board or something like that. It's not real, real wood. And so I've cut a little piece of thin plywood put this into the bottom to reinforce it. I'm going to put some little leg braces and I'll show you about that. But I'm just going to glue this in for right now and uh, let that dry. And I've painted a piece of quarter round trim and uh, I'm going to glue it. I'm using the Gorilla Glue and I'm going to glue that to the back side of the box uh, because this will be my paint surface rather than painting on the inside of the box, opening up and painting using the inside as the easel part, this back part will be my easel. And so I want that straight part to the surface, to the uh, inner part of the box. Press it down a little bit. I think I've got some clamps and I'll go find those and clamp this in place and get that excess glue out of the way. I have a couple of these kind of clamps and I think these will be just right to do this. So let me turn this sideways and all right, make sure everything is even where I want it. Get that excess glue off right there. I'm going to put some legs on the bottom of my box. And so what this is going to, and they've got a little bit of a space. They're felt pads that are nail on. And so what they have is they have a little set. Now that you would just nail that into your chair or furniture, whatever. But what I did is I took mine to the drill press and I drilled a hole through there so that I could put a screw in here. And so it has a little bit of a gap to it. And then I've got, I just needed an extra little spacer so I cut off a uh, insert, like a drywall insert. because I just needed a little bit more. You could probably buy a spacer, but I didn't. And so I'm going to drill into here. I've measured over one inch and one and a half inches up. Um, and the reason that I want the spacer, as soon as I drill this in, I'll show you. Now I'm going to drill it all the way in place just yet because I want to put this little tray in. I'm going to slide this in. Oh, this one hasn't been cut out yet. All right, so this is what it would do if the cuts were right. It would make a counterbalanced little side tray. And uh, of course now with just the one, it's not going to work so good. But here's the other one, so let me just do this. And I've got some more out in the garage that I've cut. And then I have some little thread. I think they're called screw caps that I'll put just right there, pop that in, and so that would protect my furniture or wherever I happen to sit that from scratching the surface. So now I have this little gap right here. There's a jillion other ways you can do this. This is the way that I did this. So it's just my way. Maybe not the best way. I'm sure it's not the best way. It's not the most professional way, but this is for me, and I'm not marketing these. I've been to the lumberyard and the home and garden center several times and anyway the probably the amount of time that I have used 
trying to do a do-it-myself pushad box, I could have just gone on to Dick Blick or Cheap Joe's or Jerry's Art Aroma and bought one. But it was kind of the challenge. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a girly thing to do, but here we are. So I've I have a tea nut, and uh, some of these have holes in them, and some of them have prongs. I wound up getting one that was just plain, so I'm going to E6000 that in place. This hole is just at right at the right size, and so what a tea nut does is it fits onto the plate on the bottom on a tripod, and so then this will just cl click into your tripod. I'm going to put some E6000, there it is, E6000 around the hole that I've drilled. And then I'm going to tap it in because it is a little on the firm side. This is pretty close to the last step. I had some, uh, maybe it's quarter inch plywood or luan or something like that. Anyway, so I drilled the same size that is the shank of this little uh, foot thing here. And then I used my uh, table saw and cut in to get that out, all right? And it doesn't really matter which is the front or which is the back. But so I can slide that in. And then when it's on the tripod, it makes a little table. I'll show it to you on the tripod so you can see. So I've cut two of them, and then it just slides off like that. So I've cut two of them and for travel. And so there's a couple of other little things. Let me show you this. It was a hard decision on whether to put this where it would open up or down, but the handle was what decided it. I did not want the handle, like whenever I open this up to paint, I did not want the handle up here. And so and I put the little uh, cord around here so it can prop my little tablet or whatever. I've got a couple other things that I'm gonna do here, but this, these two pieces of wood will sit in there. My next thing I'm going to do is um, I've got some D hinges coming, little D, uh, D ring hinges, and I am going to put a strap on here for carrying. Now I've gone ahead and put that uh, little plate on there. I got some uh, D ring, uh, ring hangers uh, from Hobby Lobby. They also have these at Walmart, and so I'm going to put these on the side of the box, and then I'll put a strap on there. So I'm going to use my I speak to start a hole and my little screwdriver. This little box is almost finished. I put the little D-rings hangers on the side and I was going to make a strap. And then I got this brilliant idea to go to the thrift store. And I found this. It's actually a Ralph Lauren bag. And look, it has an adjustable strap already on here. I got this strap for, I got the purse, the bag for $1.99. That is what I am going to use for my strap on my box. All right, so that takes care of that. Now the other thing I wanted to show you is uh, my little palette. I've got a small, a little tiny Whiskey Painter brand metal palette and I've got this one. And uh, so I want to be able to secure it whenever I put the, the little lip on here. And uh, I got some Dollar Tree magnets. 
and let's see can you see that so they kind of they would probably sort of hold but these I picked up from Walmart yeah like to pull sideways no I'm pulling the whole pallet and they're little and so I'm gonna put I think I only need just two I'm gonna put two little magnets they're low profile they're not very thick at all and I'll put those on with some E6000 right there and so I'll put that where I can set my palette right there in the middle of that for my watercolor paper it's right here can slide in there's a pad some extra paper that just fell on the ground and then I can just like loop that back in like that it'll prop on this back side I can either use it off the pad or anyway it'll sit on the back sit on that little lip I, since I could not find the lift hinge that I wanted I just got two mending plates and a wing nut and a little flat back bolt well it's taken me a minute or two to get this little Peshad box ready and I don't know that it's completely finished that I have everything on here that I want but I know that I'm pretty close so I've already and this is a nice tripod and so this is not a cheap tripod this is uh, probably a it's not an expensive one either about maybe sixty dollars at Walmart but the, this plate this little section here slides in and it has two magnets on it for my palette and then this one is for whatever else I might need to put on here a little strap out of the way so it slides in there okay so I will paint from this side and my storage is in here. My paper is right in here. It's a little pad or a block. You can take that out for right this second. And then my palette, my travel palette, is right there. And I have a smaller one that I could also use. And I'll set it on this side. Now there's a couple of ways that I can adjust this. And I've also got brushes in here. But there's a couple of ways that I can adjust this to, uh, to the height that I want. I can use the wing net that's on the side. And tighten it or I've got this short like a little six inch vintage ruler love vintage rulers okay and I'll just prop that there and then uh, then I'm at a slight angle if I decide I want to paint flat then I just close it and paint flat but I've got that little lip on there that keeps the the watercolor paper from falling off Now the other thing I also have I have a couple of the holes I'll probably put a couple more holes over here drill them and I've got a little S hook and that sits in right there and I found this at the Dollar Tree little metal bucket I'll put a little metal handle on there for right now it's got a ribbon on it, it looks like paint splotches and that's where I'll put water I've got two of them so one for clean water one for dirty water something like that and I think I'll probably put a little lip on here so that the brushes don't roll off but for the most part this little Peshad box is done and so that means that I need to get outside and give this a try paint outside on plein air which means in plain air Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed this, give me a little thumbs up. Let me know if you decide to make one of these. That'd be really cool. Subscribe, like, share, all of, you know, all the stuff. And I will see you next time.